Hello folks and welcome Linux Mint 21.3 Cinnamon. Now if you're not aware, um, Linux Mint makes several desktops, Cinnamon, Mate, and XFCE. Uh, one of the reasons I make mention of Mate is because uh, one of these has a menu that I can actually activate with uh, a Mate menu. I have uh, today's video is about having custom menus like these. I'll show you how to install them and how to configure them. So this is uh, in addition to your standard menu. I'll show you how to install that, how to configure some custom icons on it if you like, and how to customize some of those menus. These are applets, so I'm going to be talking about two menus today. All right, not everybody's cup of tea. This uh, video is uh, geared toward people that are kind of new for applets, and more importantly, anyone can do this. So. I'm filming a 1920 by 1080 adjust your YouTube player accordingly. This video will be a little under 30 minutes, so we'll plan accordingly. Subscription key is recommended. That would be a logo with a person on it with brackets, yellow brackets. And uh, if you do not know anything about my channel, I have over 360 videos on all kinds of tips. All right, so I'm going to be talking about two menus today. Uh, I will touch a little bit about moving those uh, to other locations on your panel bar, but in general, we're just going to talk about configuration and also installing. So these are desklets. That's a simple calendar desklet. These here are applets. So if you did not know, and if you are brand new to Mint, a special welcome to you, your panel bar is broken into three zones, left, center, and right. The right zone contains your system icons and applets. These are applets. So I will show how to install these if you've never done these a little bit later, but I'm going to first make mention of what these are and how to configure them. So the first one is just called menu. Okay, it looks like that and this is adjustable, fully adjustable. The only thing I'm going to make mention to you and I'll get it out of the way now I'm not going to talk about custom icons, but I do have some. I have uh, Software Manager, Google Chrome, Nemo the File Manager, and Firefox, and I think Games are the custom icons. I may have a couple more. You are going to see those in these menus, so if you see those things and you're saying, oh, I don't have these icons, that's why. Okay, custom icons is a totally different video. All right, today I'm going to talk about these menus. So again, all I did was resize the box. This particular one uh, is capable of doing that. So let's talk about the configuration box first. So this is called Cinema Menu, and this one is called, uh, I want to say, what is that? Cinnamon, Cin 7 Stark Menu. We'll just call it Stark Menu from now on. So I'm going to talk about that next. We're going to start with this one. So right now, my power keys or power icons are located here on the bottom with my search feature and it's auto scrolling as you can see, not a big deal. I'm going to move this whole thing to the top by configuration, right click, configure. So when you open up the configuration box for Cine menu, which is again an applet, it has a lot of options. I'm going to walk you through some of them. So the sidebar location is referencing to this. So what I'm going to do is move it from the bottom to the top and let you see that. It is now currently up here. What are the other options? Well, I can do left, which is now over here. Or I can do right, which is now over here. So you got lots of options when you talk about configuration. So I'm going to just use the top for right now. All right, so your search feature is at the top. And if you prefer the default, it's at the bottom. So the size of these icons, by the way, is also in here because there's more menus. We can also um, turn things on and off, show categories, show bookmarks, and so forth. Lots of options. If you want the menu to open on on hover, this also has that feature 
your main menu, if you haven't discovered that, that is this option. It's normally off by default. But if you like this option, you do stuff like this. It auto opens. You need to click out to close it or click on an application. Some people don't like this thing. Sorry, this one. All right, so um, you can also turn off the auto scrolling. Your auto scrolling is also turned on on your main menu, by the way. All right, so I'm not going to talk about every single feature in here, but I wanted to let you see you got some search options and then you got appearance. You can activate custom icon. What you'll get is the cinnamon icon as your default. If you don't like the size of it, this is Cine Menu. This does have a custom icon sizer. This one does not. So if I activate that, it all depends on how tall my panel bar is. The setting is right here currently. I have a different video for this. But more importantly, you can adjust the height of that icon by turning that on and cranking this up. You'll see it growing, and I'm going to touch the top and the bottom. So you can see that's like jumbo. If you want, I'll click out for a second so you can see it fully. That icon is quite large than most of these. Bigger, in other words. Right click, configure. All right, so basically, we're looking at appearance. And this is custom icon size. Now, if you don't like the cinnamon icon, again, you can just turn it back to default, which is a grid. And it also increased the size of the icon because I turned that on. This is normal size. I'll close that. And that's what your icon normally looks like. Okay, I will go back and turn this back on. So you can also click this and you can click Linux in here and you can pick different icons. You want the bright white one? You can do that. Turn that back on. It's got a nice big one. You can also browse your own icons. I'm going to go to the home folder. Bob is our user for today. It's just a made up name. If you decide to bring in your own custom icons, either from the internet or make them yourself, you create a folder somewhere in your home directory, home folder. I called mine icons or Bob did. Bob is just a made up name. Once you start using one or more icons out of these kind of folders or directories, do not rename them, do not move them, and do not change the name of the icons. I'll tell you why. Because once you start using icons out of that folder and you change the folder name or move it or the icon name, you'll get a blank on a reboot. It would just look like a weird symbol because your system needs a locator to find those. Just like all the regular Linux Mint icons, they're stored in other locations. I'm just gonna pick something goofy. So I have created my own icons. I have also downloaded icons and edited icons. This one is an edited icon. I think this has red eyeballs if I remember correctly. Yes, this clone or stormtrooper has red eyeballs. You can probably see it right there. So if I turn this back off, that's what it's going to look like. I'll turn this back on and I'll crank that up even higher. Make it bigger in other words. 49 is probably good for the size of my panel bar. All right, next thing is text. I don't need the word menu. I can just delete it. So now all you got is an icon to open that menu. If you decide to type in a long string, you will lose a little real estate on your panel bar, like this kind of stuff. My stuff, I'll call that one. And you can see that I just lost, what is that, about almost two inches worth of real estate on my panel bar. So I probably wouldn't recommend long names. So the default is what again? It's menu. You can call it menu one if you like. I called the other one menu two. We can turn that off. It goes back to the default icon. I can also turn this off and it goes back to the default size icon. You can see that this is very versatile. So I'm going to leave this on. And um, when I actually 
deactivate it and reactivate it, it'll return to the default. Everything will be default. So don't have to worry about misconfiguration. Also, the size of your icons in here are determined by these numbers. 24, 24, 64, 32 currently. There's some extra tips in there for you. So that's the Cine menu. Now I'm gonna walk over to the other one. This one is called, we'll call it Stark menu for short. And again, it's represented in two ways. You can do it in this layout, or you can right click and hit configure and turn the Mate menu on, which looks like this. Okay, I also have a custom icon. So the icon looks like that, a simple standard Linux Mint icon. All right, so let's go meet, let me go back to here. The default is the Stark menu, by the way. So I'm working with this one right now. So if you want uh, text underneath these things, these are again custom icons. Please remember that. These do not come with your system. Your software manager looks like a grid. Your Firefox is a subdued icon and your uh, Nemo file manager looks like these kind of folders. Anywho, if you want text underneath these, you can click that on and it'll look like that. Okay. And again, you can toggle the Mate menu also and it's different. Going back to the Stark menu, you can see that. I'm gonna turn that back off. All right, so um, basically, um, thought I clicked that, anyways, there we go. Show the category, show application and favorite icons. You probably don't wanna turn those off, but you can. If you don't like these icons, you can certainly turn them off. Then you'll just end up with a bunch of words and boxes. All right, size of the favorite buttons is located here also. There's lots of things. You can also turn off the auto scrolling here. Next one is panel. Custom icon is determined in here. I did this earlier. Okay, so in here, I am going to clear the field. So in here, it doesn't have the word Linux in here. You can just type it in yourself and you'll find the rest of those Linux icons. You have uh, also one more in, in addition to that, which is strange looking, but you have your standard icons in here, including the standard symbolic one. And you have some, some of the other oddballs. Okay. And some other goofy stuff in here too. But more importantly, you can pick your Linux icons if you want. So if I wanted to do the bright one, you can see it's already active. There is no icon resizer on the Stark menu, at least not that I can see in here. You remember the other one, this one here had a setting for that, for this icon here. Okay, let me open up the configuration box. See, this has a uh, custom icon size, this does not. All right, moving along, we get the same deal. We can put uh, nothing. So you end up just with an icon or we can put in text. Just keep in mind, the longer the text, the less real estate you get on your panel bar. Okay, same deal. You can uh, activate menu when you move your mouse over it. In other words, if you want the menu to open when you point at it, you click this on. Some people find this annoying actually. So it is normally off by default, but it's your choice. Lots of more options in here. Lots of options. Quick launcher, web search, close. Now I'm going to turn these off. So the easiest way to do this, folks, I don't, you know, if you're a new user, maybe this way, um, system settings, you can find applets right here. Um, so for your energetic ones, if I can call that, it's right click system settings is here also. And more importantly, a direct connection to applets is right there. All right. So these are applets, right? So I'm going to first deactivate Cinnamon menu by doing this. 
and then I'll uninstall it because I'm going to deactivate that and then turn it back on. And you'll see that everything went to default, including that icon. So you don't have to worry about misconfiguration, but what this also means is you got to start from scratch. Okay, so the thing defaulted right back to the bottom. I had it on the top earlier, remember? And then I had this bigger. So now you can see what the default looks like. Okay, I'll do the same thing with this one and deactivate it. Now, when I deactivate and reactivate this one, this will move from here to here. That is standard behavior for applets. Anytime you deactivate an applet and reactivate it, it always moves to the left of your last icon. In this case, it's the cinema menu. And it moves over here. If I were to deactivate this one and reactivate, it'll move it in front of this Stark menu. I'll do that for you because it takes only one second. So I'm only going to show this once and then I'll show you how to uh, uninstall and reinstall. So if you need to move these applets, you need to be in edit mode, panel edit mode. You can also get this panel edit mode from the panel here. The edit mode is right here. Whatever you do, my advice to you is do not touch these icons on the left zone when you turn this on. When I turn on the panel edit mode, this will be kind of a slow activation and deactivation, but it'll produce a green shade in here and it's already bad enough and I have this wallpaper. Let me change it actually to something more colorful. Um, I'll use the butterfly for a second. So you're going to see a green shade in here when I actually turn this on. But do not play with these, but you can move those when you turn this on. You can see there's a green shade here. I'll click out for a second. This is now has a maroon color. Maybe this is too bright. You find something maybe darker. How about that? Can you see that green shade? Or maybe this blue one. That may be better. All right, so that means I'm in edit mode. That means none of these work. I'm clicking on them. You can hear my mouse. But whatever you do, don't pick them up and move them. Or you're going to be hunting for a video that I made almost a year ago, how to fix that. Because I have some troubleshooting on the panel bar in that video. Anywho, I'm going to pick up the cinema menu and move it over to here. You'll also notice that I have extra icons here. The smart icons have been activated also in here. So that says Menu Friday, but that's actually just because I had it right next to words. So I'll drop it in here. You'll notice that it's not lightning fast either. Now when you get done, you right click and you turn this off. It takes a second to trigger also. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to um, I'm still waiting for this to trip. I'll click it one more time here. Because it's thinking about the rearrangement here. So there we go. Finally turned off. All right. So now we can click that menu and that's how you can verify that. Anyways, I'm going to change the wallpaper back to, I don't know what I had earlier. Um, I think it was that one. Okay, now it's over here and that menu activates like that. And I'm going to deactivate that again. And when I deactivate this menu, it'll move right here. So just wanted to forewarn you when you do stuff like this. Okay, and this is, this, these are all back to default. All the programming that I've done on these things earlier, the configuration part, they're all back to default. So we're going to go to applets. You right click on your panel bar applets. Okay. And I'm going to uninstall them. So you can do this completely from scratch. This is again, one of these kind of things where I'm doing this for new users. So be patient, please. For the ones that know how to do this, right click applets, download. If you are sorted by popularity, you will find the cinema menu right at the top because it's fairly popular. Okay. If you are sorted some other category, 
Maybe not. So I'm going to click that once and then hit the arrow to install it. And it will put a check mark when it gets done, providing you're online. The other one I'm going to do a search for, and as, as I told you, it, was, it had the word Stark in it. So I'm going to put in S-T-A-R and it finds it at the top. Cinna 7 Stark menu is what you're looking for. We're just going to call it Stark. Same deal. Now these are installed, but not active. To activate an applet, if you are brand new to Mint, um, anything that has a check mark on it is an active applet, and some of them are not being shown. This is a smart applet, meaning that that icon is actually just hiding. So the favorites requires you, this is Nemo the file manager, requires you to make a favorite. So once you do that, you'll see the star. It may be in different positions on your panel. But I'm going to turn this back off and that star will disappear. This is a shortcut to your documents if you're not aware that you can do stuff like this. It's a favorite. Moving along, I am going to scroll back to the top and activate Cinnamenu and this one, which is the plus key. So it puts the icon to the left of my last one. And I'll do the same thing with the Stark menu. And there you have them for defaults. You can refer to the beginning of this video for the configuration part of the Stark menu or the Cine menu. These are back to default. Thank you for watching.